Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Today's recipe is cheesy, it's creamy, it's got bacon in it and it's got chicken as well. We are going to be making a keto chicken casserole and this isn't just any old casserole. This is a cheesy chicken bake. Oh yeah! And my wife Dipti is going to join us later and taste test this with me. But anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. We are going to start by taking a few strips of bacon and chopping them up into bite sized pieces. If you don't eat bacon or you don't like the taste of bacon, we may not be able to be friends but you can definitely skip it in this recipe. I am just using the regular streaky bacon which has a good fat to meat ratio. So this is what I recommend you use as well. Now I am going to get a pan on the stove and add in the bacon. The reason we add the bacon to the cold pan is so that it heats up and the bacon will start to render its own fat. So we won't need any additional cooking fat. Now we want to cook this bacon on a medium heat till it gets nice and crispy. This is a process that takes a bit of time so you have to be patient. Give that bacon a good stir every now and then and make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pan. You don't want to burn that bacon. Now while the bacon cooks I am just going to take my chicken and chop it up into bite sized pieces. I am using boneless leg meat because it won't dry out while cooking. If you use chicken breast, you want to read the blog post on headbangerskitchen.com for more detailed cooking instructions. You can also use a pair of kitchen scissors to cut the chicken, which I realized is actually much easier than using the knife. So anyway, once your chicken is cut, set it aside. Now get back to that bacon and make sure it's cooking just fine. The bacon has probably rendered out most of its fat and it's deep frying itself. I mean just take a moment and stare at that beautiful crispy bacon as it fries in its own fat. Once the bacon has gotten nice and crispy, it's time to remove it from the pan with a slotted spoon and set it aside. Remember, it's all about that crispy bacon. Now if you look at the pan, you will see there is a good amount of bacon fat left in it and we are going to use that fat to cook our chicken. So into that bacon fat, I am going to add my chopped chicken and give it a quick mix to start the process of sautéing it. I am also going to season the chicken now with some salt, some black pepper powder, some garlic and onion powder, some paprika and some cayenne pepper. And then give it all a good mix and continue to sauté that chicken. While the chicken is cooking, I am very quickly going to slice up some white mushrooms for this recipe. Now if you don't like mushrooms, you can use any vegetable you like. Maybe some bell peppers or some broccoli or some spinach. It's completely up to you. And now we add those mushrooms into the pan along with the chicken and give everything a good mix. And those spices are going to coat those mushrooms as well. The paprika, the onion and garlic powder, the cayenne. You'll see that color rub off on the mushrooms. Now when cooking mushrooms, remember that they will release a lot of water. So we just want to saute them and cook as much of that water out as we can. You can now see we have some of those delicious mushroom and chicken juices in the pan. And into that we are going to add our cream cheese as well as some shredded or grated cheddar cheese. This is going to help us form a delicious and creamy cheese sauce. Those mushroom and chicken juices will melt the cheese and it will all emulsify and form a lovely thick sauce. So just let this bubble away and cook out as much of that liquid as you can. You want to make sure that you keep stirring it so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and burn. Because that can happen because there's cheese in it. So keep your eye on it, let it cook and reduce down to a nice thick sauce. Make it as thick as you like it. And once it's reached your desired thickness, we're going to add in some freshly chopped parsley and also some heavy whipping cream. And then you give it a final good mix 
and we have what I can only describe as an uber luxurious chicken and mushroom in a cheese sauce. I mean just look at that, I could eat it as it is, just throw it on some cauliflower rice and I will be good to go. But we are not done yet, we are going to take this to the next level. But this ladies and gentlemen right here is food porn. The next thing I do is preheat my oven to the highest temperature possible. And now to assemble my casserole, I'm going to get my baking dish and add in that delicious creamy chicken and mushroom. Oh yeah! Now remember, this is all fully cooked so we're not going to need to cook this for very long in the oven. We just need to brown the cheese that goes on top of this. Once that is done, we're going to sprinkle on that crispy bacon. And normally people like to put the bacon in the sauce, but that makes the bacon soggy. This way the bacon remains crispy. And finally we're gonna add some mozzarella cheese on top. And be generous my friends, this is a cheesy chicken casserole after all. And remember we don't need to cook this much, we just want to melt the cheese on top. So if your oven has a broiler setting, you can use that as well. Into the oven it goes and now just let it cook. The whole thing is gonna bubble away and the cheese on top is gonna melt and become delicious and golden brown. And when that happens, it's pretty much done. And just look at that ladies and gentlemen, it's a thing of beauty. Oh yeah! But now to finish it, I'm just gonna sprinkle on some freshly chopped parsley just for a bit of freshness and also because it looks gorgeous in the photos, that little bit of green on it. And that my friends is our keto chicken casserole done and ready. But wait, I can't let you go without digging into it. And oh yeah, just cut into it and serve yourself some of that. You've got creamy, cheesy, bacony, chickeny and mushroomy deliciousness. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, time to taste. Alright folks, it's time to taste the keto chicken casserole and look who's joining me for the tasting. It's my intelligent and articulate wife, Dipti. I give up. What? She's also beautiful. FYI. Anyway, dig into the keto chicken casserole. So what is special about this? Nothing, it's just a simple bake chicken dish with lots of cheese and cream and mm. mushrooms and bacon and just look at that cheese. It's all like... Mmm. Mmm. Oh yum. Oh my Not god. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. 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 <laughs> He's gone to that zen space. Oh wow. Okay, that creamy. Mm, look at that cheese. I want some of that cheese. Mm. You just don't have to pick it up with your hands. No, man. Afterwards. I've given you Can't cheese as well. That's all the cheese. I'm only getting bacon. I'm getting that be oh, so good. beautiful hit of the cream, the paprika, the garlic and onion powder. Mmm. Like it's full of flavor. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. -hmm. And that bacon is nice and crispy and it's like stuck to the cheese and the cheese is like stringy. No, what this is? No, it's tastes like what? Chicken tetrazzini. Mmm. I think I've got food all over my face, do I? When do you not? Okay. So do you give this the horns up? I do, absolutely. You know what we, okay, close your ears, keto fam. Pasta on this. On top of this creamy, oh my god, it'll be so good. So I guess for dinner tonight, you can make some pasta and we'll throw this on top of that. Yes. Awesome. So we're gonna go and try and not finish the rest of this because this is dinner for us tonight. I'm just eating lunch. And I still can't stop eating this. Right, so I'm going to go now, as is Dipti. But I really hope you guys will make this dish. If you do, take a picture, tag me on Instagram. And I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. Hey folks, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and if you have subscribed to Headbangers Kitchen, hit the bell icon so you get a notification when I upload a new video. And quick question, on a scale of 1 to how much do you like chicken? Well, if you love chicken like I do, then click here and watch another chicken recipe. It's really good. Thank you. It is delicious. Mm. Didn't need pasta. Okay, we put pasta on it, but I just want to finish eating it now.
Bye.